Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Today, I am challenging myself to eat all raw today, completely raw vegan. So I'm going to make a smoothie. I'll show you guys how I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to answer a ton of questions that I've been getting in the comments. So for this smoothie, I have a ton of ripened bananas to use up that I'm so excited to use. So load this up with some bananas. Lately, I've been loving avocados in my smoothies. They make them so much creamier, and it's just that healthy fat that your body needs. So, so far we have three bananas and half of an avocado, and then I'm just gonna top it off with a handful of raspberries. A few strawberries. I eat this right out of here, but if you guys can see, the texture of it is so like thick and goopy, and that's from the bananas and from the avocado. All right, so let's chat for a little bit while I eat my smoothie. Um, first things first, I am not a vegan. I am plant-based because I still use animal products, and you guys have said in the comments that you are vegan if you don't use animal products for the ethical reasons. I do it for the health benefits. So if you guys can respect my decision and why I eat the way I do, um, I would really appreciate that because it's my body and that's that. So I know that I say vegan in my titles, but honestly, it's for search people. It's for people that might be new starting out to vegan and don't know what plant-based versus vegan is, and they're looking for vegan meals or what to do if you're a vegan teenager, you know, etc. stuff like that. But I am fully aware that I am plant-based and not vegan. The next thing is um, people say that, you know, I should change this with my diet, I should do this, whatever. And while I appreciate that you guys are looking out for me and telling me, you know, what to try, I eat the way I do because it makes me feel good. It makes me energetic. I've never been happier with how my body's looked, and it works personally for me. My mom has been on the high-carb, low-fat vegan diet for six months now, and she just started eating chicken again and eggs, and she feels better than ever. So it really... Every diet is different for every person, and it doesn't work for everyone. So I know that my diet might not work for some people, and other people's diet will not work for me. But I eat the way I do because it makes me feel good, and at the end of the day, it's all about being healthy. If you eat animal products and you feel amazing, by all means, eat them. It's all about how you feel, how your body reacts, and it's about being healthy. Another thing I've been asked a lot is how do I manage school, YouTube, fitness, spin, all of that. And the answer is, I don't go to school. Now, a while ago, about like three, four, five, six months ago, I made a vlog about why I dropped out of college. And at the time, I wasn't actually dropping out. I was just transferring home to Penn State and commuting. <laughs> I went to Penn State for three days and I hated it. Um, I really didn't like college and I realized that I didn't wanna do school right now and as of right now, I'm taking the semester off but it looks like I'm not gonna go back next semester either. I'm just sort of taking it one semester at a time and seeing how it goes. Um, as of right now, I don't see myself going back to school because all that I wanna do with my life is focus on YouTube and then open up my own spin studio in a few years, so. I don't need a degree for either of those things and then after that I just want to be a mom. I know I said that one time and people were like, why would you just be a mom? Like, you're just going to have to depend on your husband and whatever, all this stuff. But that's how I want to live my life. I just want to spin and work out and be happy and do YouTube and then eventually in a few years um, get married, have babies and be a mom. I'd rather not be thousands of dollars in debt to um, do something that I don't need a degree for. School isn't for everyone and um, it's not for me. And I just, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life not being at school. So I don't go to school. That's why I have so much time for fitness because it's like my entire life, like I said. I get a lot of questions about my music for spin. I have my Spotify linked down below. It's Tori Sterling. And 
on my Spotify, I have a giant playlist. It's called Spin to This. And within that, that's where I pull all of my songs from when I go in to make my playlist. So my individual playlists aren't public, but my giant playlist with all the songs that I do pull from is public. So yeah, that's pretty much all the questions that I wanted to answer just because there were so many asked that I felt the need to kind of answer them. So yes, I know the difference between vegan and plant-based. Yes, I know that I am plant-based, but I just wanted to kind of like address this stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna charge this camera. It needs a little bit of charging. I'm gonna finish eating up my smoothie. I'm gonna call my massage place because I need to get a massage today. Because that's just what, that's what you do when you um, don't go to school. You get massages. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I got like a little ready for the day. Um, <laughs> this is like as much as I get ready these days. Um, I do have to film later, but I'm going to do that in a little bit. Um, I have to like finish up a video. But for the time being, my friend is coming over in like 10 minutes or so. Um, to just come hang out, see my place. And then I'm going to go to Best Buy and get... Wait, who did I have to call? Oh yeah, that's what happens at 10, so I'm gonna get a tripod for this so I don't like keep covering the microphone and stuff. And also it's gonna be better for when I film videos for like showing like what I eat in a day, I can like set my tripod up. Right now though, um, I have like three mangoes that are ready to be eaten. So I'm gonna cut them up and eat these because I'm a little hungry. We are on the move. I'm going to Best Buy to go buy a little tripod for this and then I'm going to go to Wegmans and get brown rice and a water for later. Um, I just ate a banana and since I'm doing all raw today, I'm doing it today kind of as like a little cleanse um, because yesterday, I mean I didn't eat poorly yesterday but I just, I feel like it's time for a cleanse so um, that's why I'm eating raw, it cleans me out. But when you eat raw, you need to make sure that you drink a lot of water. And if you know me, then you know that I am really, 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 really bad at drinking water. Like, I pretty much never drink the amount of water that I even need. Not even, like, remotely close whatsoever. Um, I normally will drink, like, half of a regular size water bottle a day. So, it's really bad. I know I don't drink enough water, and I know that I should. But I just, I don't. So I'm gonna go to Eggman's and get a big smart water and make myself drink that entire thing today. Also, when you eat raw, it's very important that you pack on the calories because you're eating just raw foods. So you can eat a ton of them. All right, I got a tripod. Is that better? It's like really big, but um, looks good to me. Okay. This tripod makes it like so much nicer. But I just got home. I got brown rice and toilet paper and that smart water I was telling you guys about. Let me just show you how massive this is. It's like so big, it's so large. I mean, I'm sure a ton of you guys are like, oh, I drink this every day. Bam, I like it. Oh yeah, Woo! tripod. So I'm gonna make some, big, a big tray of roasted veggies. I put it in my other vlog about roasted veggies. Um, like how I like to make them, but I'll just go over it quickly again if anyone didn't see that last vlog. I like to put tin foil down, makes clean up a little bit easier. No one says a thing. She wants to go out. But we never go out. So tell me a story.
I'm here. I did not just fall asleep for two hours. Absolutely not. Not me. Um, I've been, I fell asleep and then I've been watching YouTube videos. I don't have anything to do until I go to spin in like an hour and a half. So getting a little peckish. So I'm going to make another smoothie. My body's craving one and whatever my body wants, I give it. So I'm going to make another smoothie. What made me want to have another smoothie is Kenzie. I was watching her, uh, her morning routine, her lazy morning routine. And in it, she was making a smoothie and she said like, if you don't put almond butter in your smoothies, you're like doing it all wrong. And I was like, I'm gonna try that. I put peanut butter in my oatmeal and I swear that it's like a life changing. So I imagine it's very life changing to put almond butter in your smoothies. Hey, what size shoe are you? I'm a size eight. Do you have any like cute, like literally any cute shoes that I could wear? Because one of them, like it, I'm like black and I only have like, it has black heels, but they don't like go well. And I have nude and I could wear nude, that was really cool. Like, Natty, hi. Natty, I have so many cute heels that you can wear. Really? Okay, can you send me pictures? Like Today's smoothie consists of one banana, two bananas actually, I'm feeling two. My body, after having veggies, okay, so my body's always like craving veggies or sugar or carbs, like heavy carbs. And it's always in cycles. Whenever I have one thing, it wants the other. So it always, it's cycling out all the time. So I just had veggies, which were very like healthy, I guess. So now my body wants the sugary fruit. These are just frozen, um, Berries. The ingredients are or organic strawberries, organic blueberries, organic blackberries, organic raspberries. Kenzie, if you're watching this, I am trusting you here and I'm putting almond butter in mine. Technically, I'm breaking being um, raw for the day for this, but let's see, see what the ingredients are. Dry roasted unbleached almonds, organic palm fruit oil. All right, so it's just almonds and oil. Is that raw? That's technically not raw, but I mean, it's okay. And I'm gonna put water in it because I'm being raw, baby. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of flaxseed and chia seeds. The chia seeds, chia seeds are for omegas. I forget what it is flax seeds provide, but I like them. The almond butter was a good call, Kenzie. A very good call. I'm gonna go reply to comments and um, sip my smoothie. If you eat an entire smoothie and your stomach is bloated like this, <laughs> it's not bad, okay? I mean, that's just a part of eating, part of bloating, part of digestion, it's just a food baby. I am on my way to spin class. I am feeling full after that smoothie. So I wonder how spin is gonna go. I have only, okay, so like during spin, it's like very intense cardio. So I've always been like fine during it. There was one time, one time that I left the class and threw up because it was like so intense and because I wasn't feeling good to begin with. Um, and I was riding on stage. I was like riding shotgun, like training to teach. And um, it was after weights. I was like down doing weights or whatever. And I was like, I'm like gonna throw up. So I looked at the instructor who's teaching the class, who's Shoshana, she also owns the studio. And I was like, show like, I'm gonna throw up. And she was like, oh my God, go. So I ran to the bathroom. It was during the song that was like, if you guys um, do rhythmic spin normally, the song before the very last song and after weights, you like turn the lights down low and it's like, it's all your song. So there's no movements or anything like that. It's just you and it's normally very motivational. So it was during that song. So I ran out of the room, I threw up, and then I came back in for the very last song and I had to sprint. So um, I <laughs> vomed and rallied, puke and rally, whatever they call that, whatever the kids are calling it these days. All right, so I'm back from class right now. Um, I just did spin and I was gonna come home and make a burrito bowl, but honestly, I'm not hungry in the least bit. So I'm uh, not gonna eat. Yeah, I'm just not hungry. So I'm not gonna 
make myself eat when my body isn't asking for it. Thank you guys for watching this what I eat in a day, how to cleanse your body on a raw vegan diet. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, if you did like it, as always, be sure to leave a thumbs up in the comments. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see my last spin instructor day in my life, that's right here. And then, of course, a day in the life of a raw vegan teen is right here. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.